Greetings, Internet people. Ranning Ramsey here, and today we are talking about gender bias and why it is probably one of the most fucking ridiculous things in our current society, and it just aggravates the living shit out of me. What got me started on this particular subject today was I popped open an article, and um, it uh, pretty much made allusion to the fact that this recession that we've been in, that they now are currently claiming that we're climbing out of magically, I don't know, I've just stopped really taking them seriously when it comes to things like that, but um, they were saying that this was a quote-unquote man session, that most of the jobs that were lost were lost in sectors that are generally dominated by male employees, like construction and contracting and all this good shit. And it then went to talk about how when these construction workers lose their jobs, and, and this is what actually really pissed me off, to sidetrack this a little bit, is the only examples this article gave were separated couples that when one of the construction workers lost their jobs, they stopped paying child support or something. And so the single mother was now left to try to come up with this. So she was more hard hit in the recession than the male was. Well, she didn't have a job to fucking begin with. She was just getting income for doing nothing except raising her kids to begin with. So it really isn't like she lost a fucking job. What about the guy who now is making zero money? And so that kind of irritated me. I'm like, they're just focusing mainly on, oh, the poor woman who has to raise the kids. What about the guy who doesn't have a fucking job now? I mean, that kind of got to me a bit. And I just sat there thinking to myself, well, that's stupid. And then the... um. The article goes on to explain that one of these single mothers, after her child support stopped coming in, needed her family's help to move into a new house. Well, what the fuck was wrong with the house you were living in? I mean, it's, been, it's fucking bullshit like that. Well, I have three kids. I need a bigger house. No, you know what? You make do with what the fuck you have. My wife and I have been living in a one-bedroom apartment for five fucking years. And as you can see by the shit here in the background, we don't have any fucking place to put all of our shit. That it just piles up along the walls because we have no fucking space to put anything in a one-bedroom apartment. And... So, according to American society, then, what we should do is move into a bigger fucking place, even though we can't afford it. But no, we're not that fucking stupid. So, we stay in our little one-bedroom apartment that doesn't have enough space because we can't afford it. So, that seems to be a big key right there. Is that this stupid bitch stops, or her money stops coming in, so she goes out and buys a bigger house? That's fucking retarded, but you know what, I'm not really sitting here hitting the point of gender bias very much, because I'm just basically, it sounds like I'm ragging on women right now, which I'm really, I'm not intending to, because there's, there's other sides of gender bias which aggravate me as well. As Lord knows, I can't stand it when a man seems to think that a woman can't do anything as well as he can, you know. But then again... I can't stand the, 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 the mentality that some women have that <clears throat> just because they're a woman, they're automatically greater than a man because they have a vagina and we want vagina that they are somehow superior, which just is so fucking ridiculous. Basically, the bottom line is we're all fucking people. We're all just human beings. So this whole concept that we've been struggling against for freaking ages that somehow one gender is superior to the other is just just freaking asinine. I mean, I cannot think of a more rudimentary rudimenta, rudimentary ignorant standpoint. I cannot speak properly. I'm so irritated. It's just <sighs> there are so many fucking things wrong when we're willing to look at someone's gender and use that as a point of judgment before looking at anything else. And this article just really, really got to me how it just basically was sitting here demonizing men, pretty much bringing it, making it look like men are the only ones that ever dodge on child support. And I never made any allusion to any of these women being in trouble financially for any reason other than evil men dodging out on child support, which... 
I, from personal experience, know that this happens on both ends of the spectrums because I have a few friends who are divorced from their partners, who are stuck raising the kids, getting zero help from the female, even though they had to cut down from full-time work to part-time work to be able to provide adequate child care to their ch adequate child care to their children and are no longer making more money than the female the courts still find it reasonable to say well the female doesn't have to pay any child support and anyone who sits there and observes the situation from the third party will just laugh and go well the men shouldn't need any child support from the women and it's that kind of fucking thinking that just really sets us back because it's just the total lack of equality in the thinking, and it just, I don't know, sometimes seems like it's just gotten way out of hand with the whole, I can do anything, you can do better because I'm a woman, and I don't know, it, it's just, why don't we just start, you know, judging people by the content of their minds, if, if we're going to judge people, which is just kind of stupid anyway, I don't understand how it's just, I don't know, I've been under a lot of stress lately, and shit's just really been getting to me, and I didn't make a video yesterday because I had too much shit to fucking do, and I feel like this one was pretty fucking lame, so, um... Oh, by the way, that's a new intro that was made for me by someone I can't off the top of my head remember their name, but I will link their shit in the description so you know who made that for me. Um, some people have been very polite about the intro, the new one I made, and then this, and then this one here, and then other people have been kind of crude. So my challenge is if you think you can make a better one, make me one and send it to me. And, it's, and, it, and I wouldn't consider this e-begging because I could give a shit less or could not give a shit less if you actually make one and send me one. I'm just saying if you're going to be critical, instead of being critical, put your money where your mouth is and make a better one. So tell me what you think of the new intro. I think it is a little dark. I'm going to ask him to lighten it up a little bit myself. But um, other than that, I actually think it's kind of cool. So, yeah, there you go. Gender bias. Give me some shit to talk about in the comments section, people, because there's so much more in this issue that I just can't wrap my mind around right now because I'm so fucking irritated with shit that's going on in my real life that, um, <clears throat> that it's kind of hard to focus on these videos a little bit. But I know there's a great rant here somewhere, so somebody please, in the comments section, pull out a point that I've missed and just set me loose on it, so, all right, let me know what you think of the intro, give me something to fucking feed off of here, people, Randy Ramsey, peace.